Tony, cut that fucking music off right now. Thanks, Tony. Um, <laughs> if anyone cares, all these seats are empty. You guys can sit over here. All righty, I knew it. I knew it. Very cool. Hello, welcome to Cafe DM Comedy Night. I thank you all for coming and clap now. Yeah! Awesome. Uh, we got a lot of comics. Um, the show is going to be fantastic because the weather is nice outside and it always gives the show a good vibe. Um, so I'm actually going to just move right along with the show and introduce the host for the evening. Um, where is he? Brian. He's over here. Oh, hey, all right. Please welcome your host of Cafe Diem Comedy Night tonight, Mr. Brian Gartley. Hi, everyone. How are you? Good. Fan goddamn tastic. <laughs> Wasn't trying to be rude. I'm just a vulgar person. Hey, everyone. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a living piece of American history. We are in a recession right now. And unemployment is at an all-time high, 8.3% for the second straight month. And I do not have a job. So, someday, when I'm talking to my grandchildren about the Great Recession of the late aughts, early teens, they'll be gathered at my knee, and I'll be explaining to them the tragedies. I'd spend all day traversing the wilderness of Craigslist and filling out online applications for TGI Fridays and Targets. And mind you, it took a while for Hulu videos to load back in the day, so I'd have to pack my bong hits in between them. And marijuana was illegal back then. Marijuana is illegal now, Grandpa. Grandpa didn't raise no snitches. So you all be quiet. <laughs> Brian's the third and Lady Brian's. Because my name is Brian, I'm Uncle Randall, they all be named after me. I like to smoke the reefer. I won't lie to you people. Woo! All right, like-minded individuals. It's a good night. So I think you can tell a lot about a person by what they smoke out of, and more importantly, what they call what they smoke out of. If you're around people that take their shit really seriously, and they name it like a sword or a car, like Ice Dragon or, you know, the Apocalypse, then you gotta take your shit real seriously. You gotta know your favorite Beatles album and your spirit animal. Mine's a bear with its head stuck in a thing. It doesn't matter what, bears are curious creatures. They get their head stuck in a lot of things. It's true. And if you were people that have that classic, you know, half-baked pun name, like Barry Bombs or Reefer Sutherland or, you know, the late Kim Bong Eel or something, then you know that they take their fruit snacks really seriously. You gotta have a favorite old lady falling down video on the YouTube. And if they don't name it, then they're the police. And that's true. I watched The Wire, so I know it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing started, shall we? <laughs> Sounds great. Smattering is always the way to get things started off. Your first comedian up here this evening, please welcome to the stage Mr. Greg Kramer. <laughs> Take that back here in a second. So, uh, we're settling down. Settling down. We're good. Can we turn it on? Is it on? Boom. All right, yeah. Okay, you can fucking hear me. Awesome. What? Okay. What? Loud? I feel like this is pretty loud. <laughs> okay. All right, so I grew a beard recently, as you can see. And with this beard, like, you can do basically two things. You can rape a lot of people, and you can be a lumberjack and cut down trees. I'm not too good with an ax, so... Watch your ass after the show. So, slight mispronunciation on my name. He said Greg Kramer. It's actually Kramer with three K's. Yeah, good. That Greg, he hates it. 
against black people. <laughs> so the KKK, that's a weird organization, right? <laughs> settle down, kids, settle down. <laughs> Like, they decided they were going to try and scare, like, 30% of the population out of the South. And they at some point sat down and had a meeting, and we're like, alright, for our uniforms, I'm thinking we should dress up as really scary ghosts with, like, pointy hats like wizards. It'll be really scary. I don't, like, and then, you know, at some point, they got down to the name. They were like, alright, we decided on our costumes. Now we need the name. How about Ku Klux Klan? Objection? Those are all nonsense words? If you don't like it, then you can get out. Oh, get some feedback. So sometimes I hate living in Virginia, and it's not like the thinly veiled racism or homophobia. Like, I'm white, I'm straight, I made it out of school, I feel like, I feel like I'm safe from like the shootings and all that. Like, I'm good now. It's the name, Virginia. We were named for the Virgin Queen, Queen Elizabeth, making us the only place in the world to be named for the fact that some old dead lady couldn't get laid. It sucks, right? Doesn't it? Come on. Too, too real, too real for you. Get a cigarette. So we all feel bad for Japan because of like the nuclear shit that happened, but like they're gonna be amazing in the Olympics in a few years. They're gonna have like the three-legged kid running down the field, like, kicking the ball. <laughs> gonna have like <laughs> Sean Lee just won in the swimming, using his tentacles to propel himself under the water. <laughs> Speeds of over 30 miles an hour. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard recently on the news that they passed a law that pedophiles can't operate ice cream trucks anymore, <laughs> which is great, which is great. Like, don't get me wrong, get them out of there. But why is this a recent law? Like, when they first sat down, we're like, hey, we should have these things called laws, and if people break them, we'll like put them in jail. What should the first law be? No pedophiles in ice cream trucks. Law one, guys, law one. Shit. Do y'all ever want to fuck with Amish people? Like, I really think they would be like the easiest group to mess around with. All right, almost done. Like, all you would have to do is just set up a billboard like right outside their farm and just be like, free jet car, like jet packs, selling for like 20 bucks. And they'd be like, man, I could have a fucking jet pack. And just like, go back to churning the butter. God damn it. Guess I'm about done. So uh, enjoy the rest of the show. When the first one up at an open mic to introduce yourself to the good looking, responsive, entertaining, entertained black crowd for the KKK joke. Way to start it off strong. To continue strong, we have the KKK of people. That's not true at all, it's a mean thing to say. I mean that because he's popular in the South. Please welcome Leo Morena. Who's drinking tonight? Woo! Yeah! I am too, even though I got a DUI. And I'm an alcoholic. The thing is, though, is that the real measure of an alcoholic is not when you got your DUI, like how many DUIs you have, but when you got it. Like getting a DUI in the daytime, that takes some fucking skill, seriously. Like, let me open the fridge. Oh, I just had 12 beers, three shots, I'm out. Let me go to the store. It's noon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like that's that's how you know you drink too much when you're drinking in the daytime. I don't understand the need for it either. I actually have friends who are like, oh man, I don't have like a breakfast stout. It's like really? Like the morning is not a time to be drinking. And I say that because I only drink to have a good time. Like there's nothing in the morning that's a, a good time to me. You know what most people do in the mornings? They go to work 
They go to school, they go to the DMV, they go to the bank, they go to court, they go fucking jogging. None of that shit sounds appealing while I'm drunk, all right? The last time I had fun in the mornings when I was a kid, Saturday morning cartoons, right? Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah, God, Captain N rule. Cartoon about video games, sign me the fuck up. Jesus, and that came on at 7 in the morning, too. I didn't need an alarm to get up for that. That's like the only time in my life I'd ever got up earlier than my parents. Like, I swear to God, and like, the thing is, is that nowadays you can't really get that anymore because they passed a law in the late 90s saying that any broadcast channel had to air educational programming during the mornings now. And I'm like, really? I I'm fucking seven years old. I go to school eight hours a day, five days a week. My, my Sundays are locked down because of fucking church and my parents. I just want five hours on a Saturday to just watch like some robots like fight each other and shit blow up. Is that so much to fucking ask Congress? This is why I don't fucking vote. All right? Seriously, I swear to Christ. Anyway, yes, I am a nerd. I like video games a lot, okay? Like I try to bring a lot of aspects of that in my day-to-day -day life. Like one thing I like to do is like to call in sick to work. They're like, hey guys, I can't come in today. Yeah, um, I got poisoned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I went to the doctor and gave him this blue herb to take. And he said if I mix it with a green one, it'd be a little bit better, but I don't have one, so. Missing extra day, sorry guys. I'm to my mom, too. Mom, yeah, I'm running late for dinner. Um, I got lost in the forest. Yeah, yeah, I have this navigator who just keeps saying, hey, listen all the time. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I'll be there soon enough. I'll tell you what, I'll bring you all the bombs and arrows I find, okay? Yeah. Dude, man, I love Mario. You got a fat Italian plumber kicking ass? Hey, it's late at the end? Fuck yeah, what's up to late? It's a personal role model. I go to bat for the dude, seriously. Like, you know PETA's protesting his latest game? Like, they're pissed off because he's wearing his little raccoon suit? They're like, oh my god, Mario's wearing a skin of an animal. Do you know what he had to do to get that? Yeah, he had to fucking hit a question mark block, <laughs> grab the suit that popped out, and poof, magic, all right? It's not rocket science here, people. But I'll leave you with this. I actually read an article recently about how um, certain states are paying the homeless to carry wireless equipment now, so that basically almost anywhere you go, you're gonna have a hotspot. That's not exploited, but at the same time, the cool thing about it is that now, if you ever need to get wireless, just go to any pawn shop, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. You guys have fun. Most importantly, stay free, y'all. Got him.